let's find the antiderivative of this hyperbolic function your hyperbolic secant how can we do it using algebra and let's show you this right here is no different than you looking at the reciprocal of your basic hyperbolic cosine function that's what you have which is no different than this you're looking at the hyperbolic cosine in the numerator but divided by the hyperbolic cosine square in the denominator if you were to simplify this you'd have this you take it one step further you have this this is exactly what we have think about a hyperbolic identity i'll abbreviate it for you right here hyperbolic cosine square x minus hyperbolic sine square x is equal to one hyperbolic cosine square x is equal to one plus hyperbolic sine square x this right here you'll substitute in the denominator and look what i'm doing i'm going to take this item here the numerator and write it separately as this then i'm going to write this denominator item using this identity separately but it's still equivalent to what you see over here one divided by one plus hyperbolic sine square x dx this is what we have u substitution will come into play if u is equal to your hyperbolic sine x then you know du is equal to the derivative of this your hyperbolic cosine x dx and then dx is equal to du divided by hyperbolic cosine x you're bringing in these substitutions and look what will happen i have my hyperbolic cosine x then as one or one plus u square then i have a du over hyperbolic cosine x which will cancel out with this the only thing which remains is an integrand which will give me my arc tan antiderivative one over one plus u square always bring out the arc tan i have here an arc tan u plus c i'm not writing u because i have a substitution for u what is u equal to it's this my end result is arc tan hyperbolic sine x plus c and this right here is my antiderivative of hyperbolic secant as you see right over here it's a correct antiderivative using algebraic manipulation and this fundamental hyperbolic property followed by u substitution to take it all the way through arc tan or inverse tangent of hyperbolic sine x plus c is the answer of this the antiderivative and it will be correct